I'm Shorty and welcome back to my YouTube channel Shorty Skate Series. Today I'm on my way to Tuxum Skate Park um, to meet my friend Kevin who's going to help me with my form and technique for Air 360 with a grab. So I have a problem with airing 360s or spinning in general. Um, one, because I rotate with, with my face. I tend to lead my spin with my face. Um, Two, I don't push off my feet at the same time, so I'll probably do sort of a leap, which then throws my axis this way, as opposed to keeping it straight. And three, I lead with my left foot, but I like to turn left. So it does make my rotation harder. So I have been practicing switching my feet, so I lead with my right, and I'm able to turn left, which opens up my chest and my body, which makes spinning a lot easier. So let's go. Just say, hi, I'm Kevin and I'm going to bring... <laughs> okay. Hi, I'm Kevin. I'm going to teach you how to do a 360. Okay. So, first of all, you should learn uh, how to do 180 and 270. Like, find a like, flat line like this. You just open your shoulder and try to hold your hands and then try to rotate only your feet and then you're gonna do 270 with like a little bit open like harder and then try to hold your hand at the place try to fix your hand here and then jump and rotate your feet and you're gonna make perfect 270 do the same 270 but with your uh, right leg forward and do the same thing. So you gotta let it like forward. So what it feels like. Mm, okay. So, since you get used to it, you can like try to look behind you and then do the full 360 okay oh that's it okay are you gonna do it? Yeah. people go in the other city uh, hi so we have a pool people go Oh. Yeah. Okay, let me try. Okay, let's go. Okay. 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 Yeah, like, okay, let me, let me try to... Okay. The point, uh, what I want to teach you guys mm -hmm. is most of people do 360, like, really over-rotated. It can be landed, but if you want to do 360, like, look cool, then you should try to, like, fix your uh, upper body axis. Try not to throw your head, like... Okay. Yeah, that's what I do, okay. Or, Okay. Yeah. So it what? Make, but it can be landed, but it doesn't look really look good. like you're in control. Okay. So, so you really want to focus on opening your sh twisting your upper body and then rotating your hips, not like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. The basic one is sender. So you you take up your whole body like this. Mm -hmm. And you call it standard spin. Only spin is like you rotate your feet first, mm -hmm. like this. Wow, that looks and scary. And the late, late spin is. Ah. This. So which one are we doing? So we're gonna do late spin first. Late spin. That's uh. kind of easiest. Ah. Uh. So. And does that help us keep our axis more upright? 
Yeah, easy to fix your upper body axis. Yeah, so that's another problem I have. Oh no, that was bad. <laughs> You got it. Oh! But you like throw your head, leave your side on here. And not turn the head? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Easier way to come here. Good. Rotate and jump. Good. Rotate and jump. Fix your head. Oh. Yeah, what it looks like, you open it, you wind it, and then you should rewind it. So, wind and rewind. So you kind of like wind your upper yeah, body halfway upper body and then rewind, rewind. Uh, so this, okay so this so helps i can rotate only my feet uh, so this helps you not over rotate right yeah and your it can, and you keep you can keep your axis in the right position Another common mistake: people jump too much with your with their back, like okay. this. Uh. But then you lost your axis. Try not to use your upper body to make your jump. Just to do back. So mm -hmm. try to do, try to make 90 jump first, 90 degrees, and then open. Then you can make 180. And then open it a little farther, then you can do The key is to try not to pull your back. Just keep your axis in the right position so you can. Okay, uh, so you're just using your hips. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'll show you, I'll demonstrate what that looks like, the bad version, because I do it all the time. <laughs> And also, you should jump it like flat, not yeah. your toe. Not toe. Okay. Yes, that's what you need. Okay, 360 like that. Yeah. You're throwing too hard. Okay. Let's Just arms. fix your arms. Okay. Fix my arms. Yeah. Okay. Fix. Yes, that's way better. Yeah, that's how you do. Okay. That was perfect. Oh, yeah. Dong. This is Saw. Say hi. Hi. And she will be at the Blading Cup <laughs> in it's like six weeks, right? Are you excited? Yeah. yeah. So keep an eye out for Saw. And this is, I'll put her Instagram thing right here. Yeah. Follow her, follow her, yeah! <laughs> okay, we're gonna do it on the manual box, like drop 360. Oh! Oh! oh Whereabouts should like we start thinking about setting our arms about two meters before <laughs> see uh-huh and you're gonna spot right here behind you okay uh, and you're gonna see 
How are you going to bring your legs to the landing? Whoa, no, that was bad. At the top of the jump, we're gonna make 180 at the top. At the top of the position. Take your phone like this. Okay. And then you're gonna spot the landing under your left arm, your spinning weight. Mm -hmm. So jump and like spot it right behind you. And then land. Rewind your arms. Uh huh. Okay. Let's try to do it off the bank. Okay. That's way easier. Way easier. You can make enough momentum to like make your form look oh, better. Enough space to grab. Yeah. Okay. Hopefully I won't die. <laughs> Your face, exit. Oh, yeah. Can you make it more straight? Straight. Use more rewinding. Rewinding. Arms. Woo. Woo. That was good. Wow. Use more both feet. More both feet. Whoa, that was perfect. Nice. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Yes. Finally. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Oh. Tres. And then you can try like on this kind of egg frame. So this is the bank to bank? Yeah. Okay. When you're doing the 360 on the bank to bank, where should you start your setup for your arms and stuff? Same uh, as like two meters out? Like no, on the like you're gonna have to jump on the end of the ramp. So you need to prepare for the jumping from the bottom. Okay. To prepare stay sitting. Uh -huh. And then since you get closer to the end of the ramp, yeah. you you open your arms to make the rotation. And when you take up the bank, uh -huh. you should keep your 
side and arms in the position and then do the same thing as yeah. like black ground. Okay. Yeah, that's it. Okay. You just spot it first. Where are you gonna like fix and hold your arms? Perfect. At the top of the jumping, you should really care about the form of your grab or like your legs. I like to uh, make my legs like look like I'm grabbing it, but without like without gra even without grab. Put my feet and knees together and give it a little angle like this, so I can grab mute or safety easier. Mm -hmm. How are you gonna like hold your upper body in the position? If you throw it like too quickly, then you will lost your axis. But uh, right at the moment when you take off the bank, you should decide where you're gonna put your arms. Okay. So you kind of have to hold your arms, yeah, then yeah. do the magic with your legs, and then land. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it, it's like rewind. It feels like rewinding, but it looks like just I'm holding my arms there. Uh, Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah. When you go up to uh, when you go up to the ramp, you open your arms and then you hold your arms right here, and I spot right behind me, and my legs are gonna go this way. Huh? Like this. Ah. Ready, jump, and, and then kick, yeah. kick, and then turn to land. Ah. Okay. <laughs> Whoa. Yep. Jump with your legs only. Yeah. Jump with your legs only. Okay. Let me try one more. Legs only. Legs only. I'll keep practicing. I'll keep practicing. Yeah. So next up, we're gonna practice on this little launcher, dude. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> Whoa. So Kevin, what do we need to think about when we're going off the mini launcher? How are you gonna like take, take off the jump? Huh? Most of people make mistakes on the jump at the end mm -hmm. of the jump. People do jump on their toe. Okay, that's what I do. At the yeah. end. But you're gonna have to make sure you will ride it up so you, you're not gonna stuck on the middle of the ramp. That's the one point. And mm -hmm. you're gonna have to make enough room so you should be comfortable uh, making enough amplitude. So you should learn how to pump properly. Mm -hmm. So basically, when we uh, when I teach how to pump, 
I always try to put my feet together so I'm not gonna do like too much stagger stance. If you do too much stagger then you're gonna jump like one by one. Mm -hmm. So I prefer to do like jump use my both feet to make the jump. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, I that's what I do. I stagger too much and I end up launching off one foot rather yeah, yeah, than yeah. both. So and also you're gonna have like pretty much big amplitude than like doing it on the floor, uh, brow, black ground, or off the bank. Mm -hmm. uh, the launcher gives you more like Height. way much room. Mm -hmm. right? So the spin gotta be a little bit slower than. Ah, the others. slower. Yeah. Okay. This is how to practice it gradually. Okay. Okay, baby steps. I try to make the timing at the end of the ramp. Uh -huh. Whoa! Right here. Ah, okay. But I don't even fully just. I only need to open. Okay, okay. What do I do? You're doing it like. Ah, okay. Too much waiting. Yeah, yeah, I understand. It's not smooth, I kind of like yeah. trying to muscle it open. Okay. Just mellow open motion. Mellow, mellow. Mellow open. Ah. So I wanted to share a couple last thoughts with you, mainly because it started to rain towards the end of the session so we had to call it quits. So the two concepts that I found most helpful for me with unlocking Air 360s was one, was spotting behind me as I would use my arms to help me rotate, I'd spot the ground behind me, which kind of um, kept my head still, like it was turned still and then as my hips rotated around then I would move my head to the front whereas before I would just like swing my head as I swung my body and sort of like I got a little bit disorientated so I think having a set place to spot and then rotate um, helped me a lot to keep my body more in control so the second concept was using my arms to rewind my spin mainly because as I mentioned in the beginning of the video I have a problem with over rotating so even if I land I will end up sort of skewing to the left my path would go off to the left so as I use my arms to help me spin at the beginning doing the rewind with my arms helped me to stay on a straight path so that like that was one of the main things that really helped me so I hope you're able to take a couple things away from this video that will help you with your Air 360s. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as I can. Also, don't forget to tag me on Instagram, shortstop.6, as I'd love to see your progress. Thank you for watching and please like and share this video if you found it helpful. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more skating tips and tricks.